I'm This Is Huge with your six-figure mentor, helping you become the person you are always meant to be. And this is the part three of a three-part series on how to create your own Shark Tank. And in many ways, this is the most important. In part one, I talked about how you can make the most profit. So if you'd like to see that episode, you haven't seen it, go ahead and click this link here below and it'll take you to that first video. The second part was why you can have the most fun and the two major pitfalls to avoid uh, that most baby sharks make when they jump in the water of investing. Now in this part, this is my favorite part, which is why I love investing in private companies. It's because you can make the greatest difference. In January, I had a brush with death and uh, I was hospitalized for unknown causes. I almost died. When I came to, I realized how much more committed I am to making a difference. You know, money only goes so far. Making money only goes so far. My mentor from afar, Zig Ziglar, said, you can have everything in life that you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. And I truly believe that. You know, one of the greatest parts about um, working with private businesses is you actually have some skin in the game. You can make the biggest difference. You don't get that warm fuzzy when you are investing in Apple or investing in Microsoft. When I click a button at 6 a.m. in the morning while wearing my Batman PJ, I'm not really invested. If I change my mind later that afternoon, I click another button and boom, I'm out. You know, when I give my word as a mentor to help somebody, I'm there for them 100% of the way. I actually, I actually guarantee their success. And that's what you see on Shark Tank. You see, when they partner, there's hugs, there's follow-up updates. I, I love that. I love that. When you get involved with a privately held company, with a private company, you become family with those people. They know your name. Every employee knows your name. When you go to their launch parties, you get invited to all the parties. I talked about this last time. You get invited to the yacht parties. You get invited to the red carpet events. You get invited to all these huge things. You're actually family with those people. So you make the biggest difference for that company. Now, the other thing that I really love is oftentimes new companies, they've involved, this is something that's brand new and it's just catching steam. You see a lot of publicly traded companies starting to do this, but it starts with a grassroots level of actually making a difference where making a difference is the biggest reason why they exist. You know, uh, here's the thing. If you go after money, uh, you probably won't hit it. But if you are searching after meaning, meaning making a difference, you'll probably also you'll probably also make money as, as a consequence of being passionate and, and and drawing people to a cause, people will actually get involved and your company will be successful because of it. One of the companies that I'm so excited about lately is a golf advertising company started by a dear friend of mine. Her name is Caroline. Uh, Caroline, I bumped into her in the street of streets of Encinitas after a fashion show. She has an amazing company. She's got an amazing story. Two and a half years ago, Caroline was homeless. She was there in a women's shelter with two of her kids and she was eking by. She got an idea for a business, started it with nothing, with just bare seed money. You know, we're talking less than a thousand, five thousand dollars. That's all it takes for a lot of businesses to start their growth, and you can start that low. But then uh, she got the she she was advertising on on grocery carts, and she had the name Queen of Carts. Then she got the idea one day, well, queen of carts, what else is a cart? Well, uh, golfers, don't they ride around in these golf carts? And they're usually plain and have no advertising. She did, got the great idea to actually put advertisements, partner with businesses, put them on there. She got the attention of the PGA Tour. And they actually signed as a client. They actually signed with every golf course in America. Now, this is an example of a startup that I'm talking about that you invest early and it has 10x potential. In her first year, 
she did $10 million. Her company went from zero to 10 million in their very first year. Now here's the greatest part. Out of that, it's their commitment to donate 40% of their earnings to charity. So she made over $10 million. Last year she donated $4.7 million to charity. Now when you couple uh, meaning with making money, that's when your business can get uber profitable. This year they're slated to do $28 million in their second, just their second year of business. Investors that invest in a company like this, not only will they see ridiculous returns, you're not going to see it by investing in Apple. Later this year, as an investor will get to be invited to every music festival in America, every major golf tournament. I don't even golf. I need to change that. But I love that. That's where you can make the biggest difference. So, uh, you know, inv investing in private companies, you can make not just the money, you can have the most fun, but you can also make the biggest difference. I hope you guys see that. Now, the last thing, and I promised you guys that I would do this, I'm going to share with you guys a strategy that no matter where you are in the, in the game, you can start investing in private companies. Okay, so this strategy is very simple, and you have to understand the different types of investors. Now, I talked about this in my last blog. You can click this link here below, and that will take you to the link for a further explanation. Let me just give you a broad general scope of different types of investors. Remember in the last video I said, you need to not bite off more than you chew. Make sure you know what type of shark you are. Are you a, uh, a baby shark? Are you a grown shark? Or are you a guppy? Now, in investing terms, this uh, translates into, are you a seed investor, right? Now, seed investor, you only need like less than 10000 sometimes 5000 sometimes $2,000 to be a seed investor. That's something you can totally do, and that can change someone's life. Again, are you an angel investor? Usually, you can be an angel investor for as low as $10,000 because angel investors usually are, uh, go in pairs. You see this on Shark Tank a lot of times. A lot of times... Uh, Robert Hershevac, uh, Robert Hershevac will partner with Mr. Wonderful or with Mark Cuban, etc., and they'll go in on a deal so that they have two sharks. Well, a, an angel angel investor use the average angel investment here in America is between ten thousand to seventy seven thousand dollars. Okay, the average angel investment is actually upwards of two hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars, four sometimes four hundred fifty thousand. Okay, so that's because a bunch of angels get together and the risk is divided. You're actually not investing the whole amount that's asked for. You're actually you own a part of it, but you're still a huge part of that investment. So if for as low as fifty thousand dollars, you can actually uh, be an angel investor. The last type of investor is a super angel, and these are single investments of anywhere from four hundred fifty thousand, five hundred thousand to one, two, three million dollars. Now, if you look in Shark Tank, very few deals fall into this last category of super uh, angel investments. Can these guys do that? Absolutely, but even they don't take on that much risk. They don't take on that much. They don't invest that much. In fact, there have only been two deals in Shark Tank history so far. You know, if you're watching this two years after I film it, that's, that's probably going to change. Probably change next week, make this uh, look irrelevant. But there's only been two, and the first one was Mark Cuban, for, and he was for $2 million. He got a 20% stake, and that's already made his money back. Okay? Uh, privately held companies have that opportunity. You, the way you structure a deal can actually get your full investment back in a much shorter time. The second big deal was uh, Mr. Wonderful, and it was for $2.5 million. And that one has not yet made its money back, but it deals with wine, and I have no doubt that that will. Most people fall within the seed investor or the angel investor, and those are within reach. So let me just divide this with three different types of uh, three different scenarios. I'm going to give you some scenarios. So let's say uh, we've got Albert, 
we've got Bobby, and we've got uh, Calvin. Okay, these are three investors. Albert does not have much money, but he got a big tax return. He's got $5,000 to invest. Okay, Bobby, on the other hand, he has he's done some real estate investments, he, or, he's, or he's smart enough to pull out his money out of mutual funds. Get your money out of mutual funds. Do not listen to financial advisors. They don't know what they're talking about. And then let's say Calvin, he's a baller, and he's got $150,000 to invest. Okay. Now, all three of these people, most of you guys, and myself included, we're not going to be doing $150,000 a week uh, investing in private companies. Maybe you've got $150,000 this year to invest in a company. Now, if you watch the last one, you'll know that one of the biggest mistakes that they make is they follow one fish instead of uh, going after a school. You know, sharks, they go after, they go, sharks go they go on a feeding frenzy where there's a school of fish. So when it comes to that 150, you can actually become an angel investor and invest in three separate companies, invest 50,000, 50,000, 50,000 with a few other investors where the total amount actually will equal 200 or uh, $400,000 at most. Calvin would be better off dividing his, his 150,000 into three separate privately held companies where he can be an angel investor. That will keep it fun for him because if one of those three is not doing that well, he, he's not stressed out because the other ones have had 10x times returns. When you have a private company that has 10x returns and a company that hasn't had any returns, right? You're still, you're still ahead in the game. Let's say you're not Calvin, you don't have 150, you've got 50,000, that's one third of the amount. You can actually, instead of investing in three businesses, you can actually own a piece of five businesses. How do you do that? Get together with, again, other angel investors. By dividing that risk and having multiple eyes on a project, that's one great thing that Shark Tank has. You have five experts looking at a business, analyzing it all from different angles. By having multiple investors, you have multiple eyes on a single project. So let's say, you know, your, your average business in America costs anywhere from twenty dollars to $100,000 to start. Let's say you have someone in your family that is a hard worker, but they've had hard times. Okay, But you know in your heart that they have it in them. They have the work ethic, they have the integrity to actually make it happen, and they have the opportunity, if they just have a little bit of help, to become part of that 20 million new millionaires by the year 2020. That's five years from now. You know, you can actually help someone start a direct TV or a dish network. That's a lot easier in, 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 as far as an investment is concerned because it's well known. It's not a new idea, but it's a proven system. One of the things you're going to always want to look for in businesses is do they have a proven system? So you get together with four or five other investors and now you own a partial stake in five businesses. Let's say you divide 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, but you do that with four or five other people, you can own a piece of five separate businesses. So that's a, a way to guard your interests, uh, mitigate risk, but also to help people make a huge difference. Now let's say you've only got $5,000. $5,000, there are a lot of businesses that you can start in America and you can make a six-figure income with, just, with less than $1,000. I know because I started two of my own businesses for under $1,000. Successful people often will invest in a direct marketing company. My father growing up uh, did Kirby Vacuum. Maybe you've heard of Kirby or not, but Kirby Vacuums are hands down Dyson. Psh, you know, Kirby Vacuums are some of the best vacuums on the market. A lot of these direct marketing companies uh, like Avon or Cutco or Kirby, they have great products where money is not spent on advertising. You'll never see a commercial. So it's actually invested in the actual product. So I've got a Kirby vacuum cleaner right now at my house that is over 30 years old. My parents had it and it still works like new. <laughs> you know, my dad bought 
not he wasn't going door to door he actually bought the rights for an entire country so he got to override Kirby sales for an entire country people got on board and etc but if you look at smart investors like Warren Buffett Warren Buffett has in, invested in two things in the last five years two major things number one is energy he says energy deregulation will be the largest shift of wealth in human history a couple years ago he actually bought one of the largest energy companies in Nevada think about Las Vegas right so that's huge the other thing that he invests his money in is in direct marketing companies because the retention rate the profit margins are huge they're huge he bought a company called the pampered chef you know this is a lot like Avon you know back in the 50s you had wives of GIs that were at home and they had nothing to do but they wanted some spending money well that spending money you know companies like Avon and Mary Kay which are now billion dollar publicly traded companies those companies gave independent business owners the opportunity to actually make a life for themselves I know several people that drive around nice cars that make a six-figure income with those companies I know people that make a seven or eight figure income with those companies and I I highly encourage entrepreneurialism in any form and if you're if you're American why would you not why would you not so for five thousand dollars let's say you've got the same five let's say you've got five straight out of college or people with people that you know friends of yours or or family members that have great work ethic but they just need a little guided direction well often these companies have a mentor that can help them have success by investing a thousand two thousand dollars you know you can help three or four people change their lives so whether you you can start investing and a lot of times you'll get your return not within a year you'll get your return within a month within 30 60 days that's my strategy whether you're a guppy you gotta start somewhere if you only have five thousand dollars invest in direct marketing companies if you have anywhere from fifty thousand dollars invest in a publicly traded company that has a system now if you have a hundred and fifty thousand to four hundred fifty thousand dollars invest in a private company that has a brand new idea it's got people that are excited excited like Caroline they're making a huge difference not only will you have a lot more fun but you'll also make the biggest difference. Now it's time to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you. So whether you are looking at investing in private companies and anywhere you're anywhere from being a baby shark to a full grown shark, or you're just a guppy looking to become a baby shark, you got 5,000 bucks. You'd like to help uh, start getting a piece of several businesses and getting that, some of that leverage, multiple streams of income, uh, I'd love to hear from you, no matter where you are in, in stage of engagement. Now, if you're, you're, let's say you're someone who's an entrepreneur and you've got a great idea for a business, you just don't know how to execute, or you're looking for a mentor, or you're looking for investors, you'd love to meet some sharks. You'd love to partner with a shark, like on Shark Tank. I'd love to meet you as well. So reach out to me. Let's. I'd love to hear from you. Your Six Figure Mentor is all about helping you become the person you were always meant to be and a lot of times that means helping you find or create the business and life that you love so I'd love to hear from you guys uh, please do uh, write down in the comments or uh, go ahead and private message me on Facebook so we'll see you guys next time take care